at your optional display, you'll see you have an option to order it either with headers soldered on or to solder headers yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you might want to solder the headers yourself, and I would actually, um, for your electronics uh, learning, you might want to learn how to solder, and I can link a tutorial on how to solder in there. Um, I'm not the best solder, but I can definitely uh, show you uh, some basic steps. So anyways, um, so this is what you will need to get to. You'll have to have a header soldered on. When you get your display, if you order our kit, um, you'll get a display like this and you'll get one row of pins. And uh, these are called headers. And so you'll have to pick which side you'll want to solder it in. Uh, depending on where you solder it uh, will depend on um, up or down for your screen. So anyways, um, so for the ones that come pre-soldered, I tend to solder it on the lower end uh, where the screen is much smaller. So uh, the best way to get your, um, get your pins into the screen without it being extremely crooked is actually to borrow a breadboard. Um, since this will be going into a breadboard anyways, um, take your pins and put them down, breadboard down, side down first, right there, okay, and take your screen and decide where you want to solder it, and since I tend to do it on the skinny side, I'll put that in there, right there, and what you'll see is that um, you'll get a pretty even um, there'll be a slight, slight dip, but it's really not that much, but at least you know that the pins are in straight to breadboard. Okay, so now get your soldering iron. Um, I, it doesn't really matter what soldering iron you have, since this is a fairly standard way of doing it, and then get some solder. So um, there are some good recommendations on uh, good soldering irons, and um, really effective ones, and um, I can show you. Mine's the Hacko, the Hacko FX888, and it's before they replaced the digital, the analog dial with a digital one. So um, I tend to like to check my work. So first thing I do is uh, soldering irons on, and um, I'm going to hold it down and heat up the pad, and let the solder flow around. And so you see right there. Um, okay, I tend to start on two opposite ends, and by doing the two opposite ends, uh, if I need to fix the row, it's a lot easier because uh, to unsolder two rows is a lot easier than it is to uh, resolder it. I just realized that didn't make any sense. To unsolder uh, two pins is a lot easier than having to unsolder an entire row of pins. So it's a lot easier to start on two opposite ends. So once I get um, once I get the two ends, I pop it out and I take a look at it and make sure it's straight. So right there it looks straight, and so it's in. And once it's straight, I can either put it back into the breadboard and finish soldering, or I could just solder as is right now. Um, I like to double check, and I'm a little cautious, so I'll solder it back in the breadboard. So, if it turns out that you don't like how you soldered it, so say that I, um, this is a just in case, but say that you don't like, or maybe it was crooked, or actually here's a good example. I don't, I'm glad I checked it. I don't actually like this. You see how it's spaced out? Take your soldering iron and reheat the pin that you don't like. And if you see it, um, the pin one popped back in. And so just by holding the solder, soldering iron on the solder that you just did, you remelt the solder and then you can move it around. That's why I always do the first and the last pins. Okay. So if you don't like it, what you can do is that you can reheat it and then using maybe another, um, maybe using, using like a, some pliers or using um, some helping hands, you can knock the pin out. So let me make sure that this is soldered in. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to, um, now that I like the connection, it's, it's, uh, nice and tight. I'm going to put it back into the breadboard and I'm going to finish the rest of them. Okay. 
solder flow around it. So um, lots of people can give you better soldering tips than I can, but um, this gets the job done. And you can order your screen from us pre-soldered or um, if you want to try this yourself and you have your own soldering iron, um, solder it yourself. Or actually, you could even use female headers if you wanted to, so it was more breadboardable. There you go. So there's all three, all um, eight pins soldered in. Let's take a look at it. That should look just like this the one that we started with. Okay. And there's your optional display. So, I'll look at my setup first. I will show you. Um, there's my soldering iron. It's the Hakko 880. And so, clean the tip a little bit. I have the standard tip on it. So, and then um, I'm just using Radio Shack um, solder. So, there you go. Hopefully, that was helpful. <laughs>